Hello. Okay, this is recording now. Um, my name is Miles Huff. Uh, I am a fifth year senior at the University of Georgia. Um, currently recording a quick YouTube video showing the thing I've been working over 100 hours on the past couple of weeks. So it's the first project for my game, my game development class. So I called it a uh, Hackstroids. Uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, the original arcade asteroids, but with a twist, and I went ridiculously overboard on it, as is relatively evident. So here's the description. Instructions. There are actually graphical settings, even. Because I programmed this on my laptop, which is complete shit. So I had to because it couldn't even hardly run it on minimum settings. But this is my desktop, which I just recently reinstalled. Obviously, it's Ubuntu, because I didn't have time to set up Arch the way I want it. Um, anyways, yeah, so you can hopefully hear, let me put the speaker closer to the microphone, it's got some nice sound effects. Uh, I made all of them completely from scratch using Audacity, uh, I didn't use any recordings uh, except for the background noise, which if I, if I survive long enough you'll hear radio chatter in the background. Probably won't happen though. Also, of course, the uh, easiest way to not die is to go backwards because your main thruster gives you about twice the uh, propulsion, twice the thrust as your uh, monopropellant. So, monopropellant, of course, being the white stuff there. Uh, you may or may not have noticed the. Um, uh, what the I can't remember what it's called. The veil or whatever it is. The um, It's like such a common English word. Anyways, the nozzle, the nozzle, the freaking nozzle, the nozzle lights up uh, the longer you pull down forward and thrust. Uh, I sampled all the colors from actual rockets and things, like the uh, orange in the middle is sampled from the moon lander. Um, I made the probe 50% darker because it looked better on my laptop, but it turns out my laptop is a shit screen because it's a shit laptop. But I got it for 30 bucks, so you really can't complain. And I'm probably swearing too much for a school video, but YOLO, I suppose. Uh, not that that's even a bad My grandma would say that, that uh, shit, hell, and damn are, are not bad words. So if my grandma says that, it must be true. So there's my game. I guess I'll... Uh, I'm not really sure what else to show. Oh yeah, obviously there are particle effects. The uh, stars there, stars in the background, are actually... Um, scientifically accurate in terms of their spawn frequency, luminosity, size, color. Uh, and uh, you get more points if you collect particles, because uh, you know you're trying to gain research points, as you can tell from the description to the, uh, the right there. Um, if you have a shit computer and you have to, you have to lower the number of particles, you, um, your points increase faster to offset that. And if you disable rock collision altogether, your points increase even faster. Uh, this ultimately res results in a relatively even amount of point gain between the different graphical settings. Um, I know it looks like that's going up really fast, but it's harder when the rocks don't hit each other. And this actually gives about the same amount of points as uh, the full particles. So, at least previous experiences where I've actually tried. It's obviously very easy to die in this game, and there aren't any missiles. I mean, there are missiles that are partially implemented, and I have the graphics for them made, uh, but I never got around to finishing them, and the teacher told me I'd get a, a hundred without implementing them, so I probably won't implement them until I have a little more free time at some point in the future. I'll probably just implement them because I want to. Uh, also, a uh, fun little exploit. Let's see if I can get it started here. No, I'll have to do it from the beginning. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to rotate vectors because I'm not much of a math person, as it were. So, if you spin really fast right from the get-go, uh, nothing will ever hit you because the direction, you know, the, the movement paths of the asteroids um, is never rotated. Uh, as you can see here, the stars in the background are forming a circle. Uh, that's only because I had speed hacks enabled. Uh, the speed hacks option that I have there makes it so that it only keeps in memory the things that are on screen and what that means is because the display is um, wider than it is taller 
uh, stars and things when you rotate the this, this, the, uh, the ship uh, will get deleted, and so you'll end up with basically a bunch of circ you'll end up with a circular star formation like what we saw earlier. Uh, but with the speed hacks off, uh, it keeps in memory everything up to um, the widest you know dimension of the box plus uh, times 1.5. So. Uh, same as keeps that with the particles and the rocks as well, which would normally get deleted as soon as they go off screen. So if I can uh, slow this down a bit, and then I can maybe... The speed hacks option is required probably on most computers. With it on, though, I'd say, they say the recommended specs are an i3. That's just JavaScript, so... Alright, so now that that one on the bottom there has gone off the screen, I can hopefully catch up with it. No, I hit, hit another rock. But yeah, it keeps it keeps track of the asteroids and stuff now. Um, anyways, and of course the uh, nozzle pulls back down. Uh, the stars in the background will move according to your forward velocity, but only at basically relativistic speeds. So I could uh, let's go ahead and disable. Um, let's go ahead and disable collision checks. Yeah, it's a lot of lines of JavaScript. Um, I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, let's go ahead and say. And then false. Yeah, that should disable that. Um, refresh. Alright, I think we should be able to fly through the rocks now. We actually haven't even hit one yet. <laughs> There we go, yeah, we're going through the rocks. Alright, so as you can see in the background, the stars are starting to move along with us. And the uh, stars' increase in speed depends on how far they are from us. Uh, there are actually, there should be more stars there than there are. Yeah, okay, maybe it's, the speed hacks option isn't perfect, apparently it decreases the number of stars. I've also seen it increase the number of stars, but... No, it seems like the stars are back where they were. Anyways... Stars are uh, look better on some monitors than others, so it might just be this particular monitor. And also, I find that there are more stars when you're going slower than there are when, when you're going faster, which is interesting because I have it in the code where it adds stars every time until the desired number of stars has been reached. So there are technically, at any particular time, the correct number of stars on screen. So I'm not sure, maybe the other ones are just getting, flying off the screen or getting deleted before they can show up. But when I slow down here, which will take a while, let me, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I can't rotate vectors. So as you can see, when I rotate, because the vectors aren't getting rotated, it looks like the rocks are rotating around the side. Uh, so normally in real life, you'd be able to turn around by 180 degrees and fire your thrusters um, to slow down. But alas, I'm restricted to monopropellant because I can't rotate vectors. As you'll notice, when we're spinning very quickly and I fire some propulsion in one direction or the other, the uh, particles uh, turn along with the spin. And also you can see in the background, because speed hacks are back on, the uh, stars are again moving in a circle. Let's turn rock textures off. So one caveat of having textured rocks is that uh, but, you know, I'm using a float system, so everything's all nice and smooth. But uh, the textures are just PNGs, and they want to have an int, an int for the uh, coordinates of the rocks. So, um, unfortunately, I have to, when, when there are, are textures, restrict the rock centers to integers. And this means that their movement is not quite as accurate when textures are enabled. Uh, so you can see they're going a little bit faster. They also wobble a little bit, uh, but they don't wobble as badly as they did before I had an integ integral uh, center coordinate, so... Uh, anyways... Anything else I'm supposed to be showing? Uh, I guess I can show the missing ship, uh, the missing shot assets. Sources. Let's probably go ahead and... Um, repair... Oh, as you can hear now, probably in the background, it's the uh, radio chatter I added to the game. It's very subtle, but it's there. Should be possible.
possible way to get it even louder. Nope, it's already at max. Oh, no, it isn't. There we go. Alright. Oh, but just I did. Well, say love you. Alright. Refresh that. Just make sure it's, uh. Apparently, I showed you on there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's all all that noise. It's just brown. Literally, it's just brown noise that I generated in Audacity and then manipulated until it sounds like sounded like stuff. Um, all right, let's go see the missing missile assets since I only got those partially implemented, but the assets are all in there. One um, shot down. Oh, okay. So yeah, it sounds kind of like doors opening, sliding open, and closing. And that's really actually just brown noise uh, with different with varying amplitude, and it sounds relatively convincing. Um, and this is a shrunk down version of the original, which was 32 by 32, and this one's 16 by 16. But uh, it's actually based off an Apache Hellfire missile. I took all the uh, samples from that. Here's the ship. This is uh, dark and 50% from the original, uh, but I hand drew it in, in, in color paint. Um, I think the thruster, uh, the, what the fuck is, I can never remember what it's called. The um, nozzle, the freaking nozzle. The nozzle is probably the least good part in terms of appearances on it, but everything else is nice. Uh, sample colors, of course, are all, like I said, all sampled from real rockets and things. So um, I think that's all the cool stuff from that one, yeah, that project there. Um, oh, and of course, the the website and stuff is all online. All this is just stuff I did from scratch. Um, so, yep. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit like if you want. Hit subscribe if you want. I probably won't upload anything for another year because I'm very bad at uploading things to YouTube and this is really just for a class assignment. But, there you go, hope you enjoyed. Voilà.